so we're making a herb spiral and many other things. I'll give you a little tour of what's going on in the moment. A herb spiral, stones and sand come out of our earth ridge construction. We're walking towards the south. Here we're having our earth ridge. Yep, so we get sand that we need elsewhere, we get stones that we need elsewhere, like filling up the road with small stones and using big stones now for the herb spiral. Um, what else is going on? We have one guest tent that was taken down, is now drying over here. One guest tent that is taken down because people have own accommodation. So we are in the moment. Um, yeah, we are all residents somehow in the moment, of course, but three more permanent here and two frequent ones, <laughs> really nice. So the Kota Delta kitchen tent, we are going to move where the black tent is. So I'm walking through the town square. We have the black kitchen here. Um, we have hand washing facilities, black kitchen equipment, different wood stoves. This is the one being most used, um, very popular. This one also for a quick heat of water. Uh, this is our wood supply. So here, just this is what this is more enough for. With this amount, we do three days, like just for the cooking, maybe more even. And every now and then, when we go to walk. You just pick something dry up. Um, the big water heater, uh, we'll be using that today. It's a bit of washing day today. Um, also Tuesday is sauna day. Oh here, like a nice one just to see on the side. This is something uh, called the Mobile One. It's a device um, that a, I think company, is it right? Yes. A friend somehow at least gave to um, test and so the black tent we are taking down it's just in the process of being emptied because we are wanting to pack it for the experiment and this is where we want to put the kota the big kota the kitchen tent we want to move it here over there is a place where we are going to dry it's just prepared with old straw on it to stop growth a bit because we want a dry place and we built the construction with roof. We have some sheet metal that we got from, there was a pile rotting away in the woods and I found out whose it is and they said, oh yeah, please, yeah, sure, you can use it. <laughs> so yeah, that's greenhouse in the process, the one there where there's no tarps, but we found them yesterday when we came from a dump diving trip or recycling trip, better to say. Um, this is something happening today, really hot day, but we are going to wash the walls of Urs Yurt. Urs Yurt is currently stored in the, um, in the trailer together with parts of a greenhouse, but I'm considering to actually turn this into a chicken tractor. So we are thinking that we want to have chicken here and there's like some places where lots of chicken are like being kind of sorted out of industrial production and yeah so ah oh, the pump i could show the pump we have some improvements in the pump i'm gonna run there yeah, and everywhere what you see we are harvesting from these places so there's like so much like dandelion right the yellow flowers, like the flower leaf, the yellow ones, mm, they're so sweet and give really nice color to the salad. There we go. This has like, you know, improved so much, so important. This whole roof of the well had been collapsed into the well. When we came here, everything was overgrown. And um, so, yeah, we totally emptied the well, cleaned it, rubbed it, scrubbed it and um, put a better lid on. This one, <laughs> really nice also. Somebody was giving it away for free, but somewhere far away. And then there was a ride sharing um, group um, in the internet and somebody who was driving there, they just like, yeah, I can take your trailer there. And then they took a trailer that I had access to and um, 
when they came back a few days later, they had the, the well. Um, yeah, water has been tested now. They didn't find anything like we wanted it to be tested just to be on the sure side. And also because there is a taste and a smell to it. Um, but that is apparently because it has... Um, Oh, should I still go to the toilet area? Yeah, i show you that one too. So you get a full tour. Oh, the mulch beds and growing beds, like really nice. Also in the last days happened a lot of stuff here. So we have the um, yeah recycled cardboard um, to make borders against roots. And here we have strawberries planted over there. And other things. I'm. This is something I'm not really into. I have to say. I'm afraid, but I'm. I'm learning. I'm learning. <laughs> so, yeah. And then now we go cruise through here. Past some. I'm gonna show you some really nice edible. Um, these are little workhorses here. Very nice thing. You know, just screwed together from like no welding needed. So one wheeler. So you have a rack, and you use it like a wheelbarrow. And you can have bags on each side and the you know it's like one wheel very maneuverable so there are two of these designs yeah easy way just popping up wood against the walls to dry them also in the forest like that's something we have started to do now like we pop up trees that have been now cut and popping up them up to the to the other trees, standing trees. Yeah, here starts the end area. This is a very nice, a very interesting place. These are the poles we are going to put here, uh, a drying thing with the, this roofed drying place for the urod or other materials and these ones that we want to dry. Yeah, this is a project of Dennis. He is having um, amazing ideas, <laughs> very impressive. Um, I, Oops. So this is uh, a concept um, of a one square meter house. <laughs> and there is a tiny house like built of um, modules so you can unpack it, like un take it apart and put it on a trailer. And yeah, I feel I'm really in the end area. Ants are walking on my feet, but they're like, they're just fine, amazing. Amazing to observe them here. We have Iso Maxa Rojo. I take some. Um, looks like this and tastes really good. Lots of fireweed, also good to eat. Boy Yeah, that's these are kind of our daily salad ingredients. Um, then also nettles, of course. There's leaves of different, like raspberries, wild raspberries. Hmm. Oh yes, the toilet. We were on the way here. Yeah, so I find myself munching all the time when I'm walking around. It's all the time, fit something in the mouth. We believe that here used to be an earth fridge or something of that kind. We might get that back together. Um, so here the toilet thing. We have compost toilets. Right, um, here's a bucket where we collect rainwater and the rainwater we use to wash those buckets. Uh, similar buckets and these similar buckets they are in then the two, we have two compost toilets, one in Mayurt and one for the guests or where it's unknown or where there are hormones or medicals in, in the pool. So this is, we collect this one here. I can maybe show a little bit so we have like a straw cover it's probably too thick i can't do this with one hand but there is like we empty the buckets which can like contain poo pee sometimes toilet paper but most of us don't use toilet paper anymore um and yeah so this is the f kind of the first year that like we fill this one up then build the next one um extending this roof is a plan for this so that we have basically three later on, like one from where we take compost that is good for growing. Uh, the composting time depends very much on the, like it's some places around the world, you might be fine with one year because of the temperature heat. In some places you need two. We are going for three years as it's 
very cold here usually, yeah. This is a very nice tree to climb on this birch. Oh, we've had so good times together. <laughs> yeah, so I think this was now tour through the nomad town. Let's see what's going on. Um, welcome. Have a look and please, if you have any ways to contribute to what we're doing, if you also believe that we need to explore alternatives to our current status quo, where it's legal and advertised to buy avocados in a place called Finland by humans. And yeah. Yeah, it's easier to be more part of the problem than part of the solution, it seems. But I think by now I have understood that really doing doing the part of being part of the solution and trying something new that we, yeah, I don't know about how to do it. Like we, we need to try. It's when a ship is sinking and you don't have a rescue boat, you have to try to swim. And the society that we are in, in the moment, or what the world that we have, that happened to us, I, yeah, have created ourselves, whatever. I think that's like not the question. We have to understand that our life, our survival is currently not happening. And we do not see that we have a survival situation because we feel well fed and we feel well sheltered. But, and, and then we expect like an event, like, you know, as if you, you can't compare it to sitting on the branch that you're like the sitting on the branch that you're cutting because there you have a sudden event and you notice oops now this the the branch cracked broke off but what we have is something that is a slow crack we're just falling 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 and not good so this is yeah now you have a bit of a panorama also so I'm basically standing now in the east southeast of the center and yeah we are, it's nice that we slowly grow and there's life here people here so so grateful yeah and for sure a lot of work just reflecting back a bit um, but I don't think that it can be compared, this work, to to work for money. Um, and that's a, a big struggle we have because, uh, like, we are certainly not without work here, but we are without employment. And that's one where I, I say, yes, uh, this unemployment money, I do something for this unemployment money because I'm doing something that is for the common good of the global community of life that includes humans that includes our local society here and it's so so feels so good to be part of this and see that there are people coming here together who share the belief that we need to do something and we can do something and that it's like easier than yeah that's a realization that we all share it's so far much easier than we thought much easier like if I had known how, how easy a winter in the Ewart is here, oh, 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 I should have done it earlier. And Ewart is just one example. Like there are so many possibilities of building shelters. Uh, yeah, I have made a video about shelters where you can see what, what um, criteria are important for shelter. Yeah, and my priority in the moment, if I look at the six of our priorities, shelter, and community building, those are the, the big ones where I'm focusing on. Um, water and food, not too much of an issue. Like feeling quite safe there, even though my food comes to big extent still from the supermarket, as much as possible from the back end, like rescuing food, but that is for some strange reason illegal here in Finland. Um, yeah, now good time with the wild food, uh, good choice. Mm. Yeah, so that was it. That was a small, small tour, a small um, thoughts. 
and I wish you all a wonderful time. If you have questions, um, comments, critiques, uh, feedback, um, anything, if you need help or can offer help, um, yeah, please contact us and um, have a wonderful time. Bye-bye.